Hello all, welcome back. So in the last lecture, I told you that we are going to move forward and understand how to create a REST API client so that we can get the access tokens so that we can go and make our REST API calls. Before we do that, there are a few things that we need to understand. That Workday uses OAuth 2.0 for authentication. To do that, so first thing we need to figure out is what is the kind of authentication with OAuth 2.0 that we are going to use for our application. So Workday supports these OAuth 2.0 authorization grants. There is an implicit grant and there is an authorization code grant. You can always go back in details and search for OAuth 2.0 to understand what they are, but I'll give you a quick rundown of what they are. The implicit grant is a simpler flow, which is used majorly for client-side web applications running in a browser. On the other hand, for server-side web applications, we have authorization code grant, where we take a refresh token to restart the expiration timer for the issued token. So when you register your API client, you can specify how long your client can use the refresh token for. An OAuth 2.0 authorization grant provides your client with an access token. Now, Workday supports two kinds of tokens. There's a bearer token, which enables simpler development, and the other one is a MAC token, uh, which is for increased security, but requires cryptographically signing the token for each request. For this class, what we will do is, we need to decide, as I said, on the type of OAuth 2.0 authorization grant and decide on which type of access token to use. So our choice for this class is using authorization code grant and using a bearer token. So the next step is registering an API client. Let the fun begin. 